Hi, and thanks for choosing Pebblehost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can install Forge mod packs onto your Minecraft server. So it is pretty easy, but if you have no clue what you're doing, it might be a tiny bit complicated. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to install it for free, and also how to install it with Pebblehost Premium. We'll start with Pebblehost Premium because it is really, really easy. So if you do have Pebblehost Premium, or you do have the pre-install add-on, you can scroll down to the giant pre-install menu, click it, go to pre-installs at the bottom, and then go to whichever one you want, and then find your mod pack. Though of course, there's actually a search thing at the top, where let's say we wanted RL Craft, we could search RL, and there we go, we now have RL Craft here. We can then click it, click save, and then click run pre-install, and then it will set up RL Craft for us. However, let's say we are looking to do it for free. This will require you to do it manually. So first of all, we need to find a mod pack that we want. So there's many, many mod pack websites, but CurseForge is one of the most trusted, and is the website that I'll be using today. Alright, so as you see, I have found all the mods 7. Anyway, if we want to put this on our server, we have to find the server install files. So if we did want the most recent version, we could go to recent files, and click the Minecraft 1.18 server pack, and then click the download file button. And as you can see, we can also get 1.17. This is quite a recent mod pack, so it doesn't support older versions. However, older all the mods versions like 3 do support much older versions. Anyway, go ahead and click on the download file button. It will then take you to this page where you have to wait 5 seconds, and then it will complete downloading. As you can see, my download is now complete. So you're also going to make sure that you do install this on your own computer. So with CurseForge, they make it pretty easy, and they have a whole installer. You simply click the install button with the CurseForge logo next to it, and it'll take you to download the CurseForge app. I'm not going to show that as it is very, very simple. So anyway, open up your server file. Alright, so as you can see, it has downloaded as a zip file, which means we will have to extract it. So I have WinRAR, so I can just right click, and click extract here. If you don't have WinRAR, you can also get things like 7-zip, and just any other program that will unzip zip files. So now we have our folder. If you want to double click on the folder, and then where it says start server.bat, we then want to run that. It will then run a bat file where it will start installing every single thing we need. As you can see, it's starting to install all the mods. Alright, so now it's pretty much done. Now, the last thing we have to do is type in TRUE in all capitals. This will just accept the EULA. Now we press ENTER, and there we go. Now it's trying to set up the server for us, but we can just exit out of this. Now, if we go to our server files, go to the setup file that was just made, we have every single thing that we need. However, there is a few things you can remove from here. That being the installer jar log, the modpack download.zip, the run.bat, and the run.sh. So now we have the files that we need. Now I want to go back to Pebblehost, go to the file manager on the left, and what we can actually do is we can select all of these, and then simply just drag them in. This may take a while as it does have to upload a lot of files. Alright, so our files have now all installed. Then you want to click back, scroll down and click the jar and pre-install menu. Then you want to go to other, make sure it's not other pre-installs, it's just the other menu. And then you want to go to Forge 1.18. Once you've selected Forge 1.18, or if you're on a lower version, you can click Forge 1.17.1 as well. But if you are on Forge 1.18, click save, and then we can simply just restart our server. And there we go, our server is now online. So that is our full install. It's pretty simple and very, very easy. However, it does take a tiny bit of time just for all the downloading and uploading. Apart from that, very easy. Anyway, I'm just going to open Minecraft now and show you that it does in fact work. Alright, so as you can see, we have our server. We can join it. Alright, and there we go. I have now joined the server. As you can see, I have all the mods installed. So that is how you install a mod pack onto your server. Hopefully this video did help out. If it did, definitely leave a like and subscribe. Hopefully, I'll see you next time.